Hey guys, I got these uh, these Halo HID lights here on this 2014 Impala. It's not your typical install on the Impala. It's the LTZ version. As you can see here, the center bulb, the head bulb is out. So I'm going to go through and uh, change it. It's a little different than the normal change in this thing. So let me get you situated here. I'll show you how to get in here. It's a little bit, uh, took me a little bit of time to figure it out. So hopefully I can show you guys the best way of getting this thing figured out. Just shut the lights off. You know, I try to look on uh, on YouTube for a video on how to change these things and I couldn't find anything anywhere. I could find the regular change, but not the change of this, uh, of this particular bulb. So the trick is it's back in here behind this water this filler spot here for the fluid so you gotta just pull this thing out it actually pops out I didn't realize it pops out and it gives you a little bit more room I mean it's still really hard to get to but you uh, twist this cover off this right here and the bulb is right in behind there so even with that filler is gone it's still a little hard to get in there so you got this wire harness coming right out of the battery here right. so it covers off inside of here it's a little hard to see and i'll show you in a minute how it comes off the bulb but there's like a little twist off here for the bulb to come out bulb comes out like this here you can see look this bulb's completely broken actually i wonder how that happened but you can see there's a little plastic piece that's on the bulb so you got to squeeze this here and you gotta work it off here a little bit. You know, they get heat up, so it takes a little pressure, but man, that's pretty bad. I don't know how that happened. Maybe I hit a bump, I don't know. But uh, maybe some water got in there, something something got in there. Broke that up pretty good. So I went on Amazon and I bought two of these bulbs. If you can see, they're Phillips bulbs. I went to AutoZone, they wanted, um, I think 129 or 149 bucks a piece for these things. I bought two on Amazon Prime for 69 bucks. And uh, I was a little, you know, nervous at first, wondering if they were real bu real bulbs, and uh, sure enough, they were. So I'm pretty happy with the purchase there. You look at the back, yeah, you can see it's Phillips and Phillips, um, same bulb. So half the price for, for two. Trick is you can't touch that, that end of that bulb there. Or, uh, ruin it for you so like I mentioned earlier there's a little plastic piece here that comes off so you just got to slide that piece off bulbs are now junk bulb can go in the trash you know you put this plastic piece back on and you reset it back up into that position it is a little tough to get in there so I'll use a little screwdriver I should pry it down the uh, plugs back into the outlet here and then you slowly bring it right back into that hole being careful not to break it. And then I just reached down in there with a screwdriver at this point. I know it's a little hard to see, but I reached down in there with a screwdriver and just twist that plastic piece back down and uh, locks the bulb in place. Gonna get this plastic head back. It's all down in there, of course. The one time I drop it down in there is when I'm on a video. There you go, it doesn't come off the top, has to go up the bottom. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get to, but you get the uh, you get the point there, that twist in. We should be able to go turn that switch back on. And uh, we should have we should have power to that light now, that light should be fixed. So let's go check it out. So boom, there you go. Light is uh now working so you know throw the ones out shop on amazon and uh save yourself some money the other side's pretty similar you just got to uh you gotta twist it off do the same thing so enjoy i hope this helps you out guys